What's up guys? Are you having trouble going 12 and 0 because you keep running into guys like this? Well you came to the right place because I'm going to show you which pink diamonds that you should use that you can get for cheap to help you go 12 and 0. Alright guys, the first point guard that I'm going to be showing you, you're either going to love him or hate him as a player. We got Rajon Rondo. Guys, I'm telling you, this card is nasty. This is the point guard that I use to go 12-0 and and get Pink Diamond Moses Malone. This is probably my favorite card to use in the game. I'd say the only downsize is his height. He's 6'1", 170, so he does get bullied sometimes. Like, if somebody has a Pink Diamond Magic Johnson, the new LeBron that just came out that, that you can put at point guard, that Diamond Ben Simmons, you know, just point guards that are like 6'5 and above, Rondo will have a hard time guarding. But if it's not, then... And, but if they don't have a point guard that's tall, then yeah, yeah, this card will be just fine. Let's look at his badges real quick. The most important badges I look for in a player are the clamps and the range extender. So Rondo has Hall of Fame clamps, which is beautiful. And then a lot of people don't expect this, but his range extender is actually gold. That is huge, guys. When you go into a game and people look at Rondo, they don't expect him to shoot because in real life, he doesn't shoot at all. From three and so on the fast break if Rondo has the ball you can just pull up from deep and they won't even expect it they'll be too worried about other guys that are trailing on the fast break so just stop and pop with Rondo trust me that's what I do all the time and it works and he's cheap too for a pink diamond he's only and right now he's going for around like 28 25 K so if you have the budget for a Rondo I suggest you pick him up right now all right moving on the next point guard I want to show you guys is Ja Morant diamond Ja Morant this card can do everything everything unlike rondo he can actually dunk on people so that gives him you know an extra plus over rondo i personally haven't played with this card but whenever somebody does use him against me i always get killed by him so yeah guys this card is really good like it's basically a pink diamond because you can dunk on almost anybody with this card you know he's 6'3 the only advantage rondo has over this card is the is the hall of fame clamps john moran has gold clamps which is good enough if your point guard has anything below gold for clamps then you gotta you gotta switch it up but he also has gold range extender which is what we're looking for that's good so you can just pull up on the fast break or go and dunk on somebody in the paint yeah he's a little bit more expensive than rondo i'd say like 5 to 10k more expensive because of how op he is because of his ability to finish and shoot but if you have the budget go ahead and pick you up a diamond job and rant all right guys now we're on to the shooting guard and i'm gonna be real with you this is the position that you're gonna have to spend the most mt on that'll give you the best chance of going 12 and 0. so when it comes to pink diamonds at the shooting guard position there's only one card that i suggest that you use if you have the mt for it and that's d wade i know he's not cheap but if you're gonna spend the mt on one position on one card it's got to be pink diamond d wade and he's a lot cheaper than when he first came out because when i got d wade i spent over around like 250k on him so right now he's going for about 140, which isn't too bad for all the things that he can do. Let's look at his badges real quick. And the first thing I look for when I'm looking at badges is that uh, Hall of Fame clamps, which he does have. And then he has gold range extender. And another badge is quick draw because D-Wade's shot in this game is really easy. So if the defender gives you any space, you could just pull up and green it. Again, if you have the budget and you need a pink diamond that's not over like 200k you got to get pink diamond d wade now if you really can't afford the pink diamond d wade then there's two shooting guards that i would recommend that would be 95 overall donovan mitchell he's only going for like 10k so that's real cheap and then we got 94 overall marcus smart and he has hall of fame clamps which is really good and gold range extender so these are the two cards that i suggest that you get if you can't afford pink diamond d wade all right guys now on to the small forward position there's only one card that i'm going to show you because everybody should have it in their lineup and that's pink diamond jimmy butler for all the things that he can do this is a cheap pink diamond that you must have on your team if you can't afford anything else trust me all you need is defense and the ability to shoot and jimmy can definitely do both of those he's six eight he has hall of fame clamps and a bunch of hall of fame shooting badges and gold range extender that's all you need trust me get this pink diamond jimmy butler and you will not be disappointed 
Now for power forward, you could probably just get the pink diamond Giannis through the solo challenges because the cards are going to be cheaper now with the new pink diamond Giannis that just came out. But if you don't feel like doing that, then I'm going to show you the card that I used to go 12-0. And that's pink diamond Richard Lewis. Now talk about a sniper. This guy can shoot. This guy can shoot from anywhere on the court. He has Hall of Fame Dead Eye, Gold Range Extender, which are two Hall of Fame Green Machine. I think every player on your team should be able to shoot. However, the only downfall about this card is that his defense is terrible. So if that's why I said get the Pink Diamond Giannis from the solo challenge, because if the other guy has you know a Pink Diamond Giannis at power forward, then Rashard Lewis is gonna get killed all game. So you kind of have to get lucky with who you match up against because Richard Lewis Richard Lewis is usually going to be a liability on defense but offensively he can pull up from anywhere and he's a sniper so yeah only going for around like 45k so not bad for what he can do all right guys last position and there's only one guy that you need at center that you can get for cheap 94 overall diamond DeAndre Ayton and for a center he could do it all he's all you really need he could shoot rebound uh dunk <laughs> That's all you need for a center. Yeah, he's real cheap, only like 25k. So this is the card that you need to get if you don't have him already. Because usually guys are going to have Pink Diamond, Shaquille O'Neal, and he could definitely hold his own against him or any other center that they may have. Alright guys, if you want this bad boy right here, you're trying to go 12-0, then I hope I showed you some of the cards that you could use to help you do that. Now I know there's a lot of cards that I probably missed, but I just wanted to show you the ones that I personally used and are aware of that best fit my play style and so give those cards a try and tell me how they play for you hopefully this video did help you guys out if it didn't then oh well i tried all right man see y'all in the next one peace